Yo, what's up guys? This is episode four of my CFW tutorials. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to go from Rebook 4.46.1 D-Rex to PSIDA 4.50 and sign in after Sony patch the spoofers. So first thing, you want to make sure you don't have a disc in your PS3. And you want to go into Rebook Toolbox and we're going to change back to the normal settings. So if you go to selector and scroll down, you go to debug menu type. If it says Kex QA and you followed my last tutorial, then you have to do this. You need to quit Rebug Toolbox. Go over to settings, debug settings, scroll down to, uh, let me find it. Where? Right here, nav only NP. You want to turn that off. Go back in the rebug toolbox. Go back to selector, debug menu type, change that to DAX. Okay. And everyone needs to do this. Even if you didn't do that tutorial, you still need to do this. Go to system mode. Change that to normal mode. This will disable the spoofer and allow you to downgrade with no problems. Like you won't break or anything. And make sure you don't have a disc in your PS3. That could cause your PS3 to update to greater firmware than 3.55 on official firmware. So once I click normal, my system's going to reset and I'll see you on the PC. All right, guys. So now that we're at your computer, you want to download the CFW tutorial number four folder. Um, Inside it, you'll see DEX 3.55 downgrader, PSI of 4.50 DEX, and the CFW setup. So you want to plug in USB. Um, if you're already QA toggled, you don't need to do this, but I'm going to do it. You need to downgrade to 3.55 if you are not QA toggled. So you just want to drag that into the rear USB. You just want to go to DEX, like, here, I'll just show you. Just open DEX 3.55 downgrader and just drag the PS3 right on the root of your USB. You don't need to downgrade if you're already QA toggled. You can just go straight to PS IDA. And then I'm just going to see you on the PS3 now. Alright guys, so now that we have your PS3, you want to plug in your USB into the right slot of your USB port on your PS3. Um, make sure, like, if you have a fat PS3, just make sure it's to the, first, to the right USB port that you plug in your USB. And then now you want to go to System Update. Update via Storage Media. Let's say 3.55. Click Enter with X. And now we are downgrading to 3.55 DAX. And I'll just speed this up. Alright guys, so once your system restarts, you'll be on 3.55 DEX, and I'm sorry I didn't show you this last time, but I'm going to show you the system information now. As you can see, I'm 3.55, and I'll see you on the PC. Alright guys, so now we're at your PS3 again, you just want to open your USB, just delete this folder here. Open the CFW tutorial number 4 folder again. Open the PS IDA 4.50 DEX and just drag the PS3 folder on the radio USB. Then after this, we're going to drag over the CFW setup PKG on the radio USB. Drag over this PKG just right on the root. And then I'll see you on the PS3. Alright guys, so now that we have your PS3, you want to plug in your USB into the right slot of your PS3. And if you're on a fat PS3, you want to plug it into the first, the right USB port. And now we're just going to go to System Update. Update via Storage Media. Say 4.50, just click Enter. 
and I'll speed it up from here. Alright guys, so after your PS3 was started, after you updated, you will be on PS Ida 4.50 DEX. I'm just going to show you. Right there, as you can see, 4.50. So now you should already have the CFW set up PKGRD on USB. So you want to go to Install Package Files. Click X on the PKG CFW setup. And then you want to run it. And if there was a message that popped up saying your CID was set on DEX, uh, I already did this. You just want to click yes, just restore the CAX, uh CID. And then you just want to go down to install spoof 4.70, click X on that. And then spoof successfully installed, just click X. To make the changes affected, PC will reboot and I'll see you guys after it reboots. Alright guys, so once your PS3 was started, after you set the spoofer, you can set your console ID using this PKG. Just go into it and click restore original console ID, but I set mine through control console. I already made a tutorial how to do this, so I'll link that in the description. You just want to set your current IDPS and then just sign in. And there you go guys, I'm signed in. Um, I'll show you the system information again. Right there, it says 4.70 after the spoof. So I can see my friends. This is a great spoofer. People have been like having troubles. They've been getting instantly banned. I suggest using PS Ninja before going online after changing for warrants and all that. And that's basically it. Thank, uh, shout out to the team for making the spoofer. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.